नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Tonight we lead with Saudi Arabia. Oil giant, Islamic leader, Saudi Arabia now wants to become a footballing superpower. Some of the biggest names in world football have been bought by Saudi clubs. Yes, this is about sports washing. But there's so much more to it. The politics, the economics and the impact on the sport itself. Tonight we'll discuss all of it. The rise and rise of football in Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, in the war, Ukraine may be bracing for another twist. Will its allies ask Kiev to give up territory to Russia in return for a NATO membership? We'll tell you where this comes from and what it means. India is looking to buy submarines and European powers are jostling to get the deal. Pacific nations are caught in a turf war between China and the West. Vanuatu's prime minister has barely survived a trust vote. Fiji is doing a tough balancing act. In Pakistan elections may be pushed to February. Enough time to get Nawaz Sharif back in the country. In Niger Are the coup leaders clearly getting support from Russia now? And India is the biggest market for smart watches in the world, and among the biggest for wearables. We'll bring you the numbers and the trends. The headlines first. In Pakistan, a mob sets at least four churches on fire. The attacks come after a Christian family was accused of desecrating the Quran. The incidents took place in Faisalabad city in eastern Pakistan. Just last week, a teacher was shot dead in the Ketch district over allegations of blasphemy. Thailand's court dismisses election winner Peter's thwarted bid to become prime minister. This clears the way for a new leadership vote in parliament. Thaksin Shinawatra's Few Thai Party is now set to lead a coalition government. Thailand has been gripped by political deadlock since elections in May. The Dutch economy slips into recession. It contracts for the second consecutive quarter. The Netherlands is the eurozone's fifth largest economy. Meanwhile, Hungary remains in recession, contracting for the fourth straight quarter. Germany approves a draft law to legalize cannabis it allows adults to possess up to 25 grams of it they can also grow up to 3 plants for personal use the bill still needs parliament's approval with this germany will have one of the most liberal cannabis policies in europe the bank of ireland apologizes for a technical problem the glitch allowed customers to withdraw or transfer more money than what their accounts had some customers with no money in their accounts could withdraw up to $1000 Now that's a glitch most of us would not mind. But no glitch in England's performance at the Women's Football World Cup. They defeat co-host Australia to reach the final. The Lionesses have done what their male counterparts have not been able to since 1966. England will take on Spain for the title on Sunday. <laughs> 